welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to 1 d logarithm of c dc well first i am going to take this integral is equal to i and then we know this property of definite integration king's property 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx okay now we can apply here so i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 uh, d logarithm of now instead of c we can plug in 1 minus c so 1 minus c dc okay now i'm going to sum this two equation so we can write 2 times i is equal to integral from 0 to 1 uh, d logarithm of c plus uh, d logarithm of 1 minus c t c okay then uh, we know this property of d logarithm function uh, d logarithm of c plus uh, d logarithm of 1 minus c is equal to phi square over 6 minus natural log of c times natural log of 1 minus c okay now we can plug in here instead of this part we can plug in uh, now integral from 0 to 1 uh, phi square over 6 minus natural log of c times natural log of 1 minus c t c okay then um, we can split this integral into two different integrals so we can write now phi square over 6 is a constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here 0 to 1 dc uh, minus integral from 0 to 1 uh, natural log of 1 minus c times natural log of c d c okay then uh, here we know phi square over 6 now dc so c limit 0 to 1 minus integral from 0 to 1 now instead of natural log of 1 minus c uh, we can use uh, series infinite uh, series so we can write uh, infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity minus 1 to the k plus 1 times minus c to the k over k and here we have natural log of c d c okay then um, we know this is equal to phi square over 6 then minus uh, the sigma notation we can write outside of the integral sign so we can write infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity and here now we have minus 1 to the k plus 1 so minus 1 to the k plus 1 and here minus 1 to the k power so minus 1 to the k power over here k integral from 0 to 1 uh, now we have uh, here c to the k so c to the k natural log of c t c okay then uh, next step now uh, we can write this is equal to phi square over 6 now minus 1 to the k plus 1 so here minus 1 to the k here minus 1 to the k so minus 1 to the 2 times k always even so this is going to positive and uh, here now we have minus 1 to the 1 power so minus sign so this is going to be positive so here k is equal 1 to infinity now we have 1 over k uh, integral from 0 to 1 uh, c to the k natural log of c to the 
sorry natural log of c times d c okay then uh, next step we can write uh, 2 times i is equal to now 5 square over 6 uh, plus uh, infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity now here we have 1 over k now we have a uh, integral integral from 0 to 1 c to the k natural log of c dc now uh, we can use a uh, ibp integration by parts method so we can write here uh, this is equal to now i am going to uh, rewrite first function so natural log of c natural log of c then integration of c to the k we know c to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 uh, and limit from 0 to 1 then minus integral from 0 to 1 now c to the k plus 1 over uh, k plus 1 times derivative of natural log of c we know 1 over c d c okay then mm, next step we can write this is equal to phi square over 6 and here we have now mm, k plus 1 we can uh, take as a common factor so here we can write infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over k times k plus 1 sorry 1, uh, 1 over k times k plus 1 and here now we have natural log of c times c to the k plus 1 so natural log of c times c to the k plus 1 1 from 0 to 1 then minus here uh, k plus 1 we got it as a common factor and here c here c to the k plus 1 now c get cancelled and integral from 0 to 1 c to the k d c okay then mm, we can write we can simplify phi square over 6 now uh, we know this is going to 0 if we take limit we know this is equal to 0 and now here minus sign so here plus so this is going to minus infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over k times k plus 1 and here integral of uh, c to the k so we know c to the k plus 1 over k plus 1 from 0 to 1 okay then uh, we can simplify phi square over 6 minus now if we plug in 1 here we know 1 over k plus 1 if we plug in 0 0 so here we have infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over k times k plus 1 square okay now we should evaluate this infinite sum so now we can write phi square over 6 minus uh, now uh, if we take uh, partial fraction so we can write this is equal to infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1 then plus infinite sum k is equal 1 to infinity 1 over k plus 1 square okay then mm, then we can write uh, 2 times i uh, is equal to here 5 square over 6 and if we evaluate this telescope series we know this is equal to uh, 1 here infinity so this is equal to 1 so 5 square over 6 minus 1 plus now here what we have 1 over k plus 1 so if we plug value we know here 1 over 1 square uh, plus 1 over 2 square actually uh, if we plug in 1 here 1 plus 1 2 square so here i added uh, i added 1 over 1 square so here 1 over 3 square 
here 1 over 1 square we added so we should subtract uh, minus 1 over 1 the square okay then mm, we know this is equal to 5 square over 6 here minus 1 and here we know this is equal to uh, theta of 2 and here minus 1 okay then here 5 square over 6 minus 1 and theta of 2 we know 5 square over 6 here minus 1 now 5 square over 6 5 square over 6 we know 5 square over 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and i is equal to 5 square over 6 minus 1 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching